So my role during the pandemic um, was both diagnostic and research focused. And a significant part of this um, from the research side of things was, was leading a significant part of the work that we did in West Africa, attempting to understand both seroprevalence levels, but also how Africans had responded to at the time the widely used vaccine, which is the AstraZeneca. Uh, so for this, uh, we went down to Lagos, we established a cohort of healthcare workers and we performed experiments on these individuals in terms of the samples that we collected. A significant number of healthcare workers in this cohort were already infected with SARS-CoV-2 before the vaccines came, which is very interesting because of the understanding that Africans were not getting infected, which is absolutely not true. And the next part of the work that I did was really research intensive and research focused and that was here in Cambridge. When the vaccines uh, pretty much rolled out, there was really little understanding of it in terms of uh, the long-term impact of, of the vaccine and how people responded, but also the, the impact of the different variants of concern and that was really the focus of our work. And initially, using the UK cohort that we had here, we wanted to understand uh, how people had responded to the vaccine. And, and from this lab, some of the first data that came out in the world in terms of the differences, in terms of how people responded in relation to age, came from here because it was part of the study that showed that older people, um, after the first dose, they didn't do as well, but they caught up after the second dose. And again, we were working attempting to understand the immune evasion mechanisms and how the variants of concern really made the, the vaccines to an extent less you know, effective, um, to use that term uh, quite plainly. So that was part of the work that I was doing. In relation to our response to the COVID-19 pandemic, I, I certainly feel a sense of achievement and joy. Uh, we generated empirical evidence uh, from a laboratory setting. It went on to aid implementation on policymakers alike. But I, I certainly do think that there's, uh, there's still more work to be done, and that's, that's, that's the next phase for me now, is moving back uh, to an extent to Nigeria and Ghana and attempting to carry this work on in the longer term to see also the long-term impact of, of um, the, the vaccination programs and how, how hopefully this would aid in, in future pandemics um, for us to be bet better prepared for them.